Hi, this is Adam van Langenberg and I'm going to show you how to record a very simple podcast using Audacity. First of all, you've just got to make sure that you've got the software loaded up and that you have a microphone plugged in. I'm going to click record. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. Stop to record that. Now, these two buttons here, skip to start and skip to end, are going to move that cursor. So you can just move the cursor along here. Skip to start. I'm going to play this. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. Beautiful. Now I'm going to record the next line of that. I'm going to show you a classic mistake that people make though. If you just hit record now, watch what happens. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. So it's actually recorded two separate tracks there, both from the beginning. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Now, I obviously don't want it to be like that, so I'll show you what you can do to fix it. You click skip to end, that'll move it to the end of the track. Now, when you hit record, instead of just clicking on it normally, you hold down the shift key and click it, and that will start it recording from the end of the track. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Go back to the start, that sounds good. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Okay, so there's too much silence in the middle here. I'm just going to click and select, hit delete on the keyboard. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Okay, not bad. So that's, in essence, that's a podcast. Now, what a lot of people like to do, and I think this really adds something to it, is if you add a little intro music and some outro music. So I'm going to go into here, File, Import, Audio, and I'm going to go into Libraries, Music, Sample Music, and I'm going to choose this Sleep Away track. That's a nice little uh, jazz piano number. Now, you'll notice what's happened there is it looks like it's stuffed up that original track that I was playing with. It hasn't. What it's done is it's just zoomed out so that you can see that entire music track that I've put in. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so I've got that back there. Now, if I go to the start, this is what it's going to sound like. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. Okay, so not too bad, but what I'd actually like is for there to be, say, about four seconds of an introduction with the music. So I'm going to click this tool here, the Time Shift tool, and I'm just going to drag that up to about four seconds. And I like to just delete any little bits at the start there. Oops, I'll put that back. So now I'm going to have myself an introduction. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow, and everywhere that Mary went... Okay, that's a lot better. The problem is, though, I've still got the music playing underneath it at normal volume. I actually want this music to fade away, to fade down. Now I can do this by going up here to the Envelope tool. So this is very simple. I'm going to click it. I'm going to click once here where I want it to start fading down, and then I'm just going to click just anywhere else a bit later. And if I pull it in like this, that's actually going to get that music to start to fade away. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. And Okay, so that's a lot better there. Now I've still got way too much music here, so I'm just going to uh, zoom. Actually, I might zoom in a little bit to make it a bit easier. Let's say when I go silent or a bit before I want it to stop, so I'm going to click here. I'm going to select all of that and I'm going to go trim. And so what that does is whatever you've selected, it'll cut off everything on either side there. So that's given me my little introduction, a little bit of a fadeaway music. But now when I finish talking, I'll zoom back in a bit. Now when I finish talking, I want there to be some other music to finish it off. So I'm going to go import audio back to the same place. This time I'll try that, this kalimba music. That sounds exciting. What it's doing right now is it's converting it from an MP3 file into a file that Audacity can handle. Okay, again, it's done the, uh, it's done the same thing we did originally. So I will 
just zoom back in like that. Now you've probably figured out if I just hit play now that's going to start playing that entire track right from the start. Oh, what I did here I just clicked that up arrow there just to move that out of the way. So again I'm going to go to the time shift tool I'm going to move it up. Now watch what happens here notice when I get the start of this track and the end of this track really close you see how I get that yellow line that actually locks the two things in there perfectly. So I'll go from just that last little part. The lamb was sure to go. Okay, that's not too bad. Now I want this to fade away again though, like I did. So let's say that's 12 seconds. Let's say I'll give it four seconds of music. I uh, will click there about four seconds in, and then maybe here I'll start to fade it away. I'll go back to the selection tool and let's say we'll give it up to about 20 seconds there. I'm going to go edit, trim, bring this back up so, oops, what's going on there? It's better. I'll go back to the start and let's see what this sounds like. had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow, and everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. So now I'm going to want to save this so we can just go to save project, type in whatever we want to call that. If you want to export this as an MP3, and that's usually what you're going to have to do if you want to get this out to the public, we can just go File, Export, got a list of different uh, different formats we can go through there. MP3 is the one I would recommend. So I'll do MP3, I'm going to go Library, uh, Music, I'll put it in with the other pieces. I'm going to call this Mary had a little lamb, click save. Now it's always going to bring up this so um, this is actually just the information that comes off that mp3 file I brought in for the outro music. I'll just click clear. If I want to type something in here to make this easier to record I can type in my name, uh, the name of that track. If I want to have all of these in sort of one big album of podcasts I can type it in there and which track number it is but I'm not going to worry about that. So I'll click OK. Now it's going to go through. That's done. It can take a couple of minutes depending on how big the podcast you've done is. And there we go. Mary had a little lamb as an MP3 file. Beautiful. And that is how you record a podcast using Audacity.